here we are with another truth seeker requested video and in this video I talk about Selena Johnson now you all know I like to give her beef intro before I go in deep so here we go Selena Nakia Johnson was born on September 2nd 1976 in Harvey Illinois to Brenda Thompson and Seal Johnson she is the youngest of three girls Brenda was the first black police commissioner and her father Seal was a blues and soul singer from the late 60s and early 70s they noticed her singing abilities at the age of three years old then when she turned 15 years old is when her father seal did a collaboration her parents got a divorce because of her father drinking problems and also for beating her mother to make matters worse selena was molested by her uncle at the age of seven years old while playing the airplane game in 1995 before signing to a record deal she released her first album called love hangover whereas her father used her high school senior picture for the album that selena hated by the way then at the age of 21 years old, her father sent a tape of her music to R. Kelly, who decided to sign her to his partnership label company with Wayne Williams called Jive Records. She then released chapter one called Love, Pain and Forgiveness, and got her first Grammy, thanks to R. Kelly, like many other new artists back then. So much so that the music artist Kanye West was intrigued by her soulful music abilities he asked her to sing on his song called all falls down it was originally supposed to be lauren hill but she wouldn't cover it so he called selena instead after that they did the music video in los angeles about three months later it gained him and her <laughs> a second grammy and it was on the billboard charts for quite a while and i got an award for um best female vocalist yes she continued to do songs and came out with her second album called Chapter 2, The Voice, where she talked about her struggles with God, her weight, and her dealing with the harsh reality. You see, Selena was married at this time to her first husband, but he was allegedly beating her as well as cheating. She expressed her frustrations about catching her husband sleeping with her best friend in their bedroom. It seems that Selena angrily chased the woman out of the house and then yelled at her husband, of course, Selena became very depressed after this, and it seems that her husband started to become very violent and would beat her and sexually abuse her. She finally divorced him, and then she came out with her third album called Chapter 3, The Flesh Album, whereas Selena was now dealing with the problems and the pain of her last relationship and decided to be more sexual, hence the title, The Flesh. You see, Selena depicted herself as a mad sexual goddess. She talks about how to use her womanly ways to get what she needs and what she wants, even admitting that she slept with a married man. Finally, her ways were catching up to her. Rumors got out about almost breaking a marriage in which she had wrote about in her song called Leave Me Alone whereas she described how she didn't want to be bothered anymore, even though she almost broke a marriage. But early 2007, she gets married to Kawain Garris, former NBA basketball player. They had two children, but later she got dropped from Jive Records and was told that she kept complaining about that she wasn't getting enough money to support her family. Then she dropped Chapter 4, Labor Pains. With this album, she had to pay for everything independently. She also talked about her struggles of being a new wife and a mother as well as troubles in her second child delivery. After all, Selena wasn't the only one who was struggling in the music industry. Which brings me to um, her next fan inspired album, Chapter 5 Underrated, where she talked about how the industry abused her and of course all the problems she had to face. But problems seems to always follow her and later she started talking about her struggles in her marriage and being accused of allegedly cheating. She talked about this in a song called Phone Sex, which later inspired her next album called Chapter 6, Couples Therapy. In this album, she describes how she wanted a divorce. She even went as far as to go on the show called Boot Camp Reality Stars. In this show, they talked about missing the mojo in their marriage, but it was told that she was cheating during the first years of the marriage but the problems aren't just with infidelity it's also about how her husband got injured 
and couldn't find a job. He claims that she wasn't compassionate and she did what she wanted to do because there is, I mean, it was only one income coming in and she had to work really hard. Now, due to all of the stress and the fact that Selena was working and trying to feed two kids and a grown ass man, her husband's suspensions and paranoia start going in overload and he expressed about how he didn't like the way that she was so involved with a man on the show called well the, the show they were on which is couples therapy now let's get deep you see selena never admitted to cheating she claimed to only have used it in a song even though all of her songs were based off her life Anyway, later she left R&B Divas because she got tired of constantly being in the background. Then there was an incident where as Faith Evans claimed, well, claims to be her sister in a song, she allegedly stole from Selena, Chapter 5 underrated album, whereas she put Faith Evans featuring Selena Johnson. This plagiarism won Faith Evans her first Grammy. Upon hearing about the news, Selena was very excited thinking that she got another Grammy. But it was only Faith Evans who got the Grammy. So later, Selena admitted in an interview where she talked about how every diva is different. She speaks about the about the allegedly stealing of the song and covers it up by saying that she doesn't know the facts, quote unquote. But deep inside, she's mad. Especially when she agreed to do a song on R&B Divas, thinking it would have helped her with her falling career. But instead, it was Nikki Gilbert and Faith Evans who worked together and used the Divas who needed help only to build from them. When Johnson found this out, she got very upset and began drinking excessively. Most of it, her interviews were her constantly making up excuses and also trying to hide her frustrations while she continued to dive in depression and alcohol. Of course, her husband noticed her behavior and got upset. But still angry at the fact that she wouldn't be honest about her alleged cheating. But out of love for their family, he stayed, hoping things would change. Okay, it seems that um, Selena claims to be about love and all about fans, you know, things of that nature. She doesn't really, well, it was told that she really doesn't give a fuck about them. But here's the reality. Selena doesn't really give a damn about her fans. It's all about the money. Like many, they don't really care about their fans. At the end of the day, it's whatever pays the freaking bills. Anyway, in a recent show called Ayala, I think I pronounced that right, whatever. I want to fix my life where she talked about how she is so loving and learning how to cope with things. In 2013, she learned how to cope with her family. She also talked about how her mom and her dad were abusive and also called them bitches and hoes. That's when Selena's depression got worse and she started gaining weight and eating more. And then she uh, came out with another album called Nine mm -hmm. with the uh, letter N as the number nine with recording artist Music Soul Child. Of course, she became bitter and angry because she didn't get another Grammy for the album and didn't reach the stats that her other albums had done. Now let's get deeper. Now, like the old saying goes, the love of money is the root of all evil. That being said, have Selena sold out? You see, Selena has been getting in a lot of trouble. Especially when she says something about Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy's hair, you know, from back in the day when Beyonce never did her hair. Then it seems that black, <laughs> these days black men are speaking out about black women being too aggressive and bitter. For example, Kawain, this is her husband, speaks out about his wife being too aggressive with him and calling him too sensitive. But it was noted that he, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is hilarious for real. It was noted that he needed to be more sexual in bed, hence why she may have cheated and her weight problems being sexually frustrated can make you redirect those desires someplace else. Some people work out, have affairs, eat and so on. Also note that her mother still lives with her. Not because of this alleged cheating, of course, her marriage was falling apart. Heck, it makes you wonder who was really cheating. They say when a person is cheating, they tend to blame their partner for cheating. 
So because of her insecurity, she started bleaching her skin, changing her hair color from one shade to another. Now do note in the midst of all of this, she's having problems with her sisters as well. Although they're educated, but they still rely on her for many things. So she has all of this on her mind, right along with her getting older and having to go to extreme measures to stay relevant and noticed. It was told that her husband doesn't like for her to take revealing and sexy pictures and post them on social media. But, but just like any other grown ass woman, whether married or not, she did what she wanted. Besides, it has come out that he's the one who's cheating. And <laughs> y'all get what I'm saying, right? And hers is still speculated and alleged. So keep that in mind. He's the one who's cheating. And hers is still speculated and alleged. Hence to what I just said about him accusing her all of this time. When in actuality, it was him. He's the one with no job, with all the time on his hands and mind going gone, you knows where. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And it's for men and women. They do the same freaking thing. So with all of this in mind and the desperateness, will she make a sacrifice with her new deal? with the devil because it's coming up the question is who will it be her trifling cheating husband or will it be one of her sisters or will it be her mother i'm not going to get too deep with the selling of the soul and what's the ruse and so on and so forth i think i've already done that several times and y'all don't need no more information about that but let this story be a lesson in inside testimony of another R&B singer and her struggles with Hollywood idea of the perfect R&B singer. Well, that's it. And there was more, but I don't think a lot of you will even freaking care. I mean, you probably get bored real quick because it goes on and on and on and on. And um, so what I'm going to do is just post the rest of these scripts that this wonderful truth seeker gave me and typed out. So I'm going to put it on my webpage. You guys can check it out, okay? Yeah, I'm going to do that. And my website is thetruthshowchannel.com. Okay, and you can get it in the video. And it's also below all my social media accounts. All of that is below. So you might want to check it out. <laughs> oh, just to let you guys know, I also have a calendar on there too. So you can know when videos are coming out that month. And you probably want to check it multiple times a week because I'm always changing the date. So, and the reason I do that because I do have a full-time job after all. This is not my main income just saying bad history with youtube so keep that notated anyway i hope you guys like it i hope she like it love you and god bless you all oh and don't forget to subscribe like and share and also don't forget to follow my instagram twitter and facebook i post on them every day hope to see you all there love you all bye